This is my sweet little brother, George. This is Bobby Pig. This is me. <laughs> and this is the real Daddy Pig. <laughs> It is raining today, so Pepper and George cannot play outside. Daddy, it stopped raining. Can we go out to play? <laughs> All right. Run along, you two. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa loves jumping in muddy puddles. I love muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. Sorry, Mummy. <laughs> George likes to jump in muddy puddles too. George, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. Peppa likes to look after her little brother, George. <laughs> George, let's find some more puddles. <laughs> Peppa and George are having a lot of fun. Peppa has found a little puddle. George has found a big puddle. <laughs> Look, George. There's a really big puddle. George wants to jump into the big puddle first. Stop, George. I must check if it's safe for you. Good. It is safe for you. <laughs> Sorry, George. It's only bad. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping in muddy puddles. Come on, George. Let's go and show Daddy. <laughs> Have you been watching television? No, no, Daddy. Have you just had a bath? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I know. You've been jumping in muddy puddles. Yes, yes, Daddy. We've been jumping in muddy puddles. Oh, oh. And look at the mess you're in. Ooh. Oh, well. It's only mud. Let's clean up quickly before Mummy sees the mess. Daddy, when we've cleaned up, will you and Mummy come and play too? Yes, we could all play in the garden. <laughs> Peppa and George are wearing their boots. Mummy and Daddy are wearing their boots. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh, Daddy Pig, look at the mess you're in. It's only mud. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dinosaur is lost. 
George's favourite toy is Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> George loves Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Sometimes George likes to scare Pepper with Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Too scary. <laughs> <laughs> At supper time, Mr. Dinosaur sits next to George. Uh, I beg your pardon? Was that you, George? Or was it Mr. Dinosaur? Dinosaur. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> At bath time, George shares his bath with Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Good night, Peppa. Good night, Bobby. Good night, George. And good night, Mr. Dinosaur. When George goes to bed, Mr. Dinosaur is tucked up with him. George's favourite game is throwing Mr. Dinosaur up in the air. Whee! And catching him when he falls back down. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Pepper and Daddy Pig are playing drafts. <laughs> I win, Daddy. <laughs> oh, well done, Pepper. George? George, what's the matter? I'm sore. George, have you lost Mr. Dinosaur? George has lost Mr. Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. We'll find Mr. Dinosaur. It's a job for a detective. Daddy, what is a detective? A detective is a very important person who is good at finding things. Me, me! I'm good at finding things. All right. Peppa is the detective. George, I'm the detective. I will help you find Mr. Dinosaur. Maybe the detective should ask George some simple questions. George, where's Mr. Dinosaur? George does not know where Mr. Dinosaur is. The detective could try and guess where Mr. Dinosaur might be. I know. I know where he is. <laughs> George always has Mr. Dinosaur with him in the bath. So Mr. Dinosaur is in the bath. Mr. Dinosaur is not in the bath. Oh. I know. I know where Mr. Dinosaur is. <laughs> George always has Mr. Dinosaur in his bed at night. See, so that's where he is. Mr. Dinosaur is not in George's bed. Oh. Maybe we should try the garden. Yes, the garden. I was going to say that. Where is Mr. Dinosaur? Mr. Dinosaur is very hard to find. Oh, Mr. Dinosaur isn't anywhere. George, you do love to throw Mr. Dinosaur in the air. I wonder if this time you threw Mr. Dinosaur just a bit too high. There he is! There he is! I saw him first! <laughs> Well done, Peppa. You really are a very good detective. <laughs> I'm so... George is so happy Wee. to have Mr. Dinosaur back again. Wee. <laughs> Maybe it isn't a good idea to play with dinosaurs near trees. <laughs> Best friend Pepper is waiting for her best friend, Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa loves Susie. Susie loves Peppa. They are best friends. <laughs> Peppa, why don't you and Susie?
Daisy, go and play in your bedroom. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> George wants to play too. <laughs> Peppa and Susie love playing in Peppa's bedroom. <laughs> so does George. <laughs> no, George. This game is just for big girls. Go and play with your own toys. Peppa and Susie want to play on their own. I'm a tiny little fairy princess. <laughs> I'm going to wave my magic wand. <laughs> Turn you into a frog. <laughs> George doesn't like playing on his own. George wants to play too. No, George. I play with Susie. You have to play somewhere else. George wants to play with Pepper. He feels a bit lonely. George, I need some help. I'm making chocolate chip cookies. Someone needs to lick out the bowl. <laughs> George likes helping Mummy make cookies. But he likes playing with Pepper more. I want to be a nurse. I want to be a doctor. But who's going to be the sick person? George! <laughs> Peppa and Susie love playing doctors and nurses. So does George. Peppa listens to George's chest. Now, George, take a big breath in, then cough. <gasps> Hmm, I think your heart's a bit loose. How about a plaster on it? <laughs> Open wide, please. Susie takes George's temperature. Oh dear, you're very, very hot. I think you have to stay in bed for three years. <laughs> da Daddy Pig has come to find George. Oh no, what's wrong with George? Don't worry, Daddy, it's only a game. George is our patient. Oh, I see. Can the patient have a visitor? Just for a little while. He might get tired. Cookies! Yes, they're for George. They're his medicine to make him feel better. <laughs> Can you help me? I have a sore tummy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> I can hear it rumbling. I think you're hungry, Daddy. <laughs> then I think I need lots of cookies to make me better. <laughs> and me. And me. And me. <laughs> 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 Polly Parrot Peppa and her family are visiting Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig <laughs> Come inside. We have a surprise. What is it? We have a new pet. Can you guess what it is? Dinosaur? No, it's not a dinosaur. Come and see. Ah! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have a pet parrot. Peppa, George, this is our pet parrot. She's called Polly. Pretty Polly. Ah! Pretty Polly! Wow! 
I am a clever parrot. Ah, I'm a clever parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, why does Polly copy everything that Granny says? That's what parrots do. I'll show you. Hello, Polly. Hello, Polly. What a sweet little parrot. What a sweet little parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Tea time. Pepper, George, come on. There's chocolate cake. Come in, Granny. <laughs> Pepper and George love eating chocolate cake. But today, they are in a hurry to get back and play with Polly Parrot. Finished. <laughs> what noisy little ones you are. Granny, please can we leave the table? And go and see Polly Parrot. Are you sure you've completely finished your cake? <laughs> Off you go then. Hooray! <laughs> George, say something to Polly. George is a little bit shy. Hello. something else to say to Polly Parrot. I'm a noisy parrot. <coughs> I'm a noisy parrot. <coughs> Peppa, George, have you been playing with Polly? Yes, Granny. Polly is such a sweet parrot. Yes, Granny. I'm a clever parrot. I'm a noisy parrot. <coughs> I'm a noisy parrot. <coughs> oh. Oh. oh, my word. are playing hide and seek. It is George's turn to hide. He must quickly find somewhere to hide before Pepper finishes counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> George has Eight, found somewhere to hide. Nine, just in time. Ten. Ready or not, here I come. Pepper has to find where George is hiding. Found you! Pepper has found George. George, I could see you too easily. Now it is Pepper's turn to hide. One, um, three. I'll help George to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, George, open your eyes. George has to find where Pepper is hiding. Oh. Pepper isn't hiding under the table. George. 
George, have you thought of looking upstairs? <laughs> Pepper isn't under the bed. What was that strange noise? Pepper isn't behind the curtain. There is that strange noise again. What can it be? George has found where Pepper was hiding. George found me. Now it's Daddy's turn to hide. Oh, I think George should have another turn. But George isn't very good at hiding. I'm sure he'll be better this time. Close your eyes and start counting. One, two, oh, three. Oh dear, Pepper will easily four, find George. Five, George, six, come over here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, George isn't hiding under the table. But George always hides under the table. Have you thought of looking upstairs? I know where he is. George is in the toy basket. Except it's a hole. George is not in the toy basket. Hole. Where can he be? Pepper cannot find George anywhere. Daddy, I can't find George anywhere. Oh dear. I wonder where he can be. <laughs> Actually, I think there's something about George in this newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> George, found you. <laughs> oh, George, that was a good place to hide. <laughs> George was hiding behind Daddy Pig's newspaper all the time. <laughs> Pepper and George are going to the playgroup. It is George's first day. George, are you looking forward to the playgroup? Daddy, maybe George is too small to go to my playgroup. He'll be fine, Pepper. There'll be you and Mr. Dinosaur there to keep him company. Grr, dinosaur. <laughs> but I want to play with the big children. Not George and his toy dinosaur. Oh dear, Pepper doesn't want George to go to her playgroup. We're here. Daddy, are you sure George is big enough? He'll be fine. All right, he can come. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Madame Gazelle looks after the children of the playgroup. Hello. This is my little brother, George. <laughs> Hello, George. <laughs> I wish I had a little brother like George. Really? Hello, I'm Danny Dog. Is that a dinosaur? It's just a toy dinosaur. Grr, dinosaur. Brilliant. <coughs> dinosaur. Grr. <coughs> dinosaur. Grr. Yeah, really scary. <laughs> That's brilliant. 
George is my brother. He's brilliant. Peppa is proud of her little brother, George. <laughs> Shall we show George how we paint pictures? George is not very good at painting. Well, maybe you could help him. Yes, I'm very good. I, I will show him how to paint a flower. George, today I'm going to teach you how to paint a flower. First, you paint a big circle. No, George, that's the wrong colour. Now you paint the flower's petals. George, that's the rock shape. Now you paint the stalk and the leaves. Perfect. George, you have done it all wrong. Now, what do we have here? I've painted a flower. That's very good, Peppa. And George has painted a dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> well, brilliant. I think George and Peppa's pictures should go on the wall. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa, you must be very proud of your little brother. Yes, I am. It is home time, and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Can George come next time? Yes, and he can paint us another lovely picture. And what will you paint next time, George? Dinosaur. Grrr. Oh, another dinosaur picture? Well, maybe you can show us all how to paint a dinosaur. Well, brilliant. Yes, brilliant. <laughs> Mummy Pig at work. Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Daddy Pig is making soup for lunch. Daddy, can we go and watch Mummy on her computer? Yes, as long as you don't disturb her. She has a lot of important work to do today. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Mummy Pig has a lot of important work to do. Mummy? Can George and I sit on your lap and watch you work? Yes, if you both sit quietly. <laughs> Peppa and George love to watch Mummy work on the computer. Mummy, can we play that computer game, Happy Mrs Chicken? We can play Happy Mrs Chicken later, but now I have to work. Mummy, can we help you work? No, Pepper. You mustn't touch the computer. And George, you mustn't touch the computer either. Yes, George. You mustn't do this. Pepper, stop! Sorry, Mummy. I was just showing George what not to do. Oh, dear. The computer is not meant to do that. Daddy Pig! Daddy Pig! What is it, Mummy Pig? Daddy Pig, can you mend the computer? Um. I'll finish the lunch while you mend the computer. Uh, right you are, Mummy Pig, but I'm not very good with these things. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig is going to mend the computer. Mm. Maybe if I just switch it off and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the computer. Hooray, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. Daddy, can we play that computer game, Happy Mrs. Chicken? Maybe you should ask Mummy Pig. Mummy said that we can play it later. Well, that's okay then. But I don't know where the disc is. <coughs> is working again. George? Not really, Mummy. I was teaching him how to catch. Really? Oh, well, I know a game that will teach George how to catch. It's called Piggy in the Middle. <laughs> Pepper, you take the ball and stand over there, and George, you stand over there. Good. You have to throw the ball to each other, and I have to try and catch it. I'm the Piggy in the Middle. <laughs> Mummy is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> Catch, George. Oh, missed it. George has caught the ball. Hooray! <laughs> well done, George. Now you throw the ball to Pepper. Oh, try again. Oh, try again. George cannot throw the ball past Mummy Pig. Come on, George, give the ball to me. <laughs> <laughs> Silly George. <laughs> I can do that too. <laughs> Peppa wanted to copy George, but she's too big and has got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the ball. Peppa, now it's your turn to be piggy. George, catch! Hooray! Hooray! Got it! George, you're the piggy! <laughs> George, catch! <laughs> catch the 
ball, George. <laughs> catch, George. <laughs> George, catch. <laughs> Here's the ball, George. <laughs> What's all the noise? Daddy, George is too little to play piggy in the middle. Oh, I'm sure he's big enough. No, he isn't, Daddy. Watch. Catch it, George. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. Yes, it is. I just gave George a helping hand. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can I have a helping hand? Of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> to me, George. Catch, George. <laughs> Peppa loves catching the ball. George loves catching the ball. Everyone loves catching the ball. <laughs> Pepper and George are at the playground with their friends. <laughs> Candy Cat and Pedro Pony are on the climbing frame. No. Meow. Whee! Susie Sheep, Danny Dog and Rebecca Whee! Rabbit are playing on the Whee! slide. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Pe Pepper is playing on the swing. Mummy, Mummy, push me please. Are you ready? Yes, I want to go really high. Whee! <laughs> Hiya, Mummy! <laughs> George wants to play on the swing. Now it's your turn, George. <laughs> Hold tight. I want to push George. Push George gently, Peppa. Yes, Mummy. Hold tight, George. Whee! Oh dear, Peppa has pushed George too high. George does not like being up high. Peppa, you know George is a bit scared of heights. Sorry, George. <laughs> Let's play on the climbing frame. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Hello, Danny. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> across. Stand back. Ready, steady, go! Whee! Look at me! I'm flying like a bird. <laughs> oh, I can't get out. Peppa is stuck in the tyre. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Well, it does look a bit funny. <laughs> we'll have to pull you out. <laughs> Peppa's friends are helping to free her. <laughs> Hooray! Thank you, everyone. <laughs> George, do you want to play on the climbing frame? <laughs> the climbing frame is quite high. George does not like being up high. <laughs> Let's play on the slide. Yes, slide. <laughs> Peppa loves the slide. Every everyone loves the slide. Mummy, Daddy, look at me. Ready, steady, go. Wee. George wants to play on the slide. Are you sure, George? It is a bit high. <coughs> All right, I'll help you up the steps. <laughs> oh dear, it is a bit too high for George. <coughs> Don't worry, George. I'll slide down with you. Daddy, 
You're too big to go down the slide. Don't be silly, Peppa. I'm not too big. Stand back. Ready? Steady? Go! <gasps> Daddy Pig is stuck. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> it looks very funny, Daddy. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> we'll have to push you down. Daddy's tummy is just like a bouncy castle. <laughs> George loves bouncing on Daddy's tummy. <laughs> George isn't afraid of heights anymore. <laughs>
I think George wants to grow a carrot. George, would you like to grow a carrot? No. What would you like to grow? George has thought of something he wants to grow. Dinosaur. George wants to grow a dinosaur tree. <laughs> Silly George. Dinosaurs don't grow trees. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have been tidying the house. Mummy Pig and I found this old box in the attic. Ooh. Can anyone guess what's inside? Hmm. Nope. It's full of musical instruments. Wow. <laughs> they are a bit old and dusty. Achoo! <laughs> this is the violin I used to play when I was little. Bobby, can you play your violin? I haven't played it for a long time. Please, Bobby, please play it. I hope I haven't forgotten how. <laughs> Play the violin. Hold it like this. Yes, Mummy. Oh. oh dear. I do not think it is meant to sound like that. George wants to try. Hold it like this, George. Oh, oh that does not sound quite right either. The violin is too hard to play. Pepper? Maybe you would do better with this tin drum. Thank you, Daddy. That sounds better. Pepper loves playing the drum. Oh, lovely. Yes, it sounds very nice. This is Daddy Pig's old accordion. I used to play this to Mummy Pig when we first met. Oh, Daddy Pig. I remember this tune. <laughs> George wants to play the accordion too. Are you sure, George? The accordion is quite difficult. George, the accordion is almost as difficult to play as my drum. Okay, George. <laughs> Maybe George is a bit too little to play the accordion. Daddy, what other instruments are in the box? Just this horn. Can I try? You have to blow it very hard. <gasps> that does not sound right. It's impossible. I think I used to be able to play it. <gasps> that really does not sound right. <laughs> Maybe it just needs someone big and strong like me. <sighs> that does not sound right either. <sighs> Papa's right. It is impossible to play. Never mind, Daddy Pig. Just stick to the accordion. You play it beautifully. <laughs> well, I do play it quite nicely. Even if I say so myself. And I'll play my violin. And I will play my drum. Mummy Pig plays the violin. Daddy Pig plays the accordion. Peppa plays the drum. But what instrument will George play? <laughs> George is blowing the horn. Mummy couldn't play the horn, and Daddy couldn't play it, and even I couldn't play it. <coughs> but George can play it. Ha, 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 ha.
bread in the garden. To me, George. You threw the ball too hard, George. So the rules say I win. Now it's my turn. <laughs> I win again. Peppa, George, today your big cousin Chloe is coming to visit. Yippee, <laughs> cousin Chloe. George, Chloe is a big girl like me. So don't be sad if she finds you too little to play with. Oh, I'm sure Chloe will play with both of you. Chloe's here. Auntie Pig has brought Chloe to spend the day at Peppa's house. Chloe is Peppa and George's cousin. Chloe is a bit older than Peppa and George. Hello, Chloe. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. <laughs> See you later. Do you want to play a game? Yes, let's play catch. Peppa loves playing catch. Do you still play catch? That's a game for little children. Oh, we only play catch because George likes it. Okay, let's play it for George. Do you play it with the proper rules or the baby rules? Proper rules. I'll start. Peppa, you're it. Catch me if you can. <laughs> Peppa is it. She has to chase Chloe and George. Can't catch me. <laughs> George, I'm going to easily catch you. You're so little. <laughs> That's not fair. You're helping George. That's because he's little. Do you want me to help you? No, I don't need help. I'm a big girl like you. Come on then, Peppa. Try and catch us. <laughs> Can't catch us. <laughs> <laughs> this is a silly game. Can we play something else? OK. I know a really good game for big children. It's called Sly Fox. Sly Fox? I want to play Sly Fox. What is it? One person is the Sly Fox. And the others creep up on them. Me, me! I want to be the Sly Fox. Heather <laughs> is the Sly Fox. While her back is turned, the others creep up on her. But if Peppa turns and sees someone move, they have to go back to the start. George, I saw you move. Back to the start. <laughs> Got you. I win. You moved before I was ready. The rules say I can move when I like. Don't they, George? <coughs> now it's Chloe's turn to be the sly fox. Peppa and George must stay very still. Peppa, I saw you move. Back to the start. It's not fair. You look too long. The rules say I can look as long as I want. Back to the start. <laughs> George is the winner. <laughs> can we play a different game? Yes, but as long as it's a grown-up game. I know. Let's play my favourite game. It's very grown up. George, do you know what Peppa's favourite game is? <laughs> Peppa's favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. George, if you jump in puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> I've brought some boots for you too, Chloe. I'm too grown up to jump in muddy puddles. Oh, so am I. <laughs> George loves jumping in muddy puddles. Secretly, Peppa would love to jump in the puddle, but she wants to look grown up. I hear there's some puddle jumping going on. <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig love jumping in muddy puddles. It does look fun. Yes, it does. <laughs> Maybe there's a rule that says big girls can jump in muddy puddles. Yes, that's a good rule. Grace you! Grace you! Peppa and Chloe love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Even grown-up girls. <laughs> The new car. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are going for a drive in their red car. Shall we have the roof down? Yes, please. <laughs> Peppa and George love their car. Is everybody ready? Ready. Then let's go. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
And our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, the car does not sound very well. What's wrong, Daddy? Mm, uh, I don't know. Let's take it to Grandad Dog's garage. He can fix it. That's a good idea, Mummy Pig. Grandad Dog runs the garage. He is very good at mending cars. <laughs> Daddy Pig, your car does not sound very well. Can you fix it, please, Grandad Dog? Yes, but it will take all day. Oh! We wanted to go for a drive in our car. Don't worry, you can borrow this new car while I fix yours. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Grandad Dog. Would you like the roof down? Yes, please. I'll just press this red button. What a clever car. Wow. When you come back, I will have fixed your car. Thank you, Grandad Dog. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Pepper and her family like the new blue car. There are so many buttons in this new car. What does the green button do, Daddy? Let's see. Magic windows. <laughs> Daddy, make the magic windows go down. <laughs> what does the blue button do? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I love this new car. Can we keep it? No, we can't keep it, Pepper. We've only borrowed it for today. Oh? No, I think it's going to rain. Yes, I'll just put the roof up. Now, which is the button to close the roof? <laughs> Oops, silly me. Aha, this must be the button. Ah! The new car has squirted Daddy Pig with water. <laughs> silly Daddy, that's not the roof. This button. Oops, not that one. This button. <laughs> Daddy Pig has forgotten which button closes the roof. I don't think this car likes me. Let's try the red button. Ooh. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> but now it's stopped raining. Can we open the roof again? Uh, yes. Which button was it? The, the red, red one. one. Hooray! Hooray! Grandad Dog has fixed the car. Your car is fixed. Hooray! Thank you, Grandad Dog. And keep the change. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Bye-bye. Pepper and George have been playing in the garden. <laughs> Pepper, where are your shoes? Oh, I've lost them. Well, I'm sure we can find them. Maybe we should try the garden. Yes! Everyone is looking for Pepper's shoes. Mummy Pig is looking in the flower bed. Pepper's shoes are not there. Oh. Daddy Pig is looking in the wheelbarrow. Pepper's shoes are not there. Oh. Pepper and George look in the flower pots. Pepper's shoes are not there either. Oh. 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 We've looked everywhere, but we can't find Pepper's shoes. Pepper's shoes are lost. Now I haven't got any shoes to wear. <laughs> Poor Pepper. Your shoes were getting a bit old. We'll buy you a new pair. Can my new shoes be red, Mummy? Of course they can. George, I'm going to have new red shoes. <laughs> Mummy Pig and Pepper are at Miss Rabbit's shoe shop. 
Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. We would like to buy some new shoes for Peppa, please. Red shoes. Oh, I'm sure we can find you some lovely new shoes, Peppa. Red ones, please. Of course, red ones. Wow! No red shoes. <laughs> George and Daddy Pig are playing drafts. Oh, well done, George. Daddy, Daddy! <laughs> Look at my new shoes! They're red! I say, they are red. Mummy, do you like my new shoes? Yes, Peppa. They make you look very smart. George, do you like my new shoes? Everyone likes Peppa's new shoes. I like my new shoes so much. I don't want to ever take them off. <laughs> <laughs> it is bath time. Peppa wants to keep her new shoes on, even for her bath. <laughs> Peppa is in her pajamas. She still has her new shoes on. <laughs> Peppa even wants to wear her new shoes in bed. Peppa, are you sure you don't want to take your shoes off? I don't want to ever take my new shoes off, Bobby. Very well. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs> Good night, Bobby. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. It has been raining all night, and now the garden is very wet. Mummy Pig is wearing her boots. Daddy Pig is wearing his boots. George is wearing his boots. Peppa is still wearing her new red shoes. <laughs> George is going to play in the wet grass. <laughs> oh dear. Peppa loves playing in the wet grass, but she doesn't want to get her new shoes wet. I can't play in the wet grass, George. Oh. George loves jumping in muddy puddles. Peppa loves jumping in puddles. But she doesn't want to get her new shoes muddy. Mummy and Daddy love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone likes jumping in muddy puddles. Where is Peppa going? Peppa is putting on her boots. You must wear your boots. <laughs> ballet lesson. Peppa is going to her first ballet lesson. This is Madame Gazelle, the ballet teacher. Oh, you must be young Peppa. I am Madame Gazelle. Hello, madame. Oh, so sweet. Welcome to your first lesson of the ballet. <laughs> I'll pick you up later. Bye-bye. Enjoy yourself. Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Children, today we have a new pupil. Peppa Pig. Now, Peppa, run and join your friends. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Children, <laughs> we begin with Demi Plie. Demi Plie. Now, a little jump. Petit jeté. With grace and beauty. Petit jeté. Grace and beauty. Petit jeté. Grace and beauty. Ballet lesson is a lot of fun. Grace 
Close your arms. Imagine that you are beautiful swans. And what noise do you think a swan might make? Meow. Nay. Grace and beauty. Peppa loves dancing. Everyone loves dancing. You can show Daddy Pig and George and me. Bye bye. Peppa and Mummy Pig are home. <laughs> Daddy George, I'm going to show you how to do ballet. Is it difficult? It was easy for me, but you, George, and Mummy will find it very hard. First, we need music. Good. Now, George, Daddy, and Mummy, you must copy what I do. Madame Gazelle used funny words, but really, it's just bending your knees and jumping. Ah, the petit jeté. Daddy, you know the funny words. <laughs> Mummy Pig and I used to be quite good at ballet. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Our favorite was the pas de deux. No! That wasn't quite how I remembered it. <laughs> Silly daddy pig. <laughs> oh, maybe we should leave the ballet to Pepper. Yes, I am the best at it. Pepper and George are having their favorite food. Spaghetti. <laughs> what a lot of noise. Finished. Ah, now we'll have a bit of quiet. <laughs> It's a tooth. Where did that come from? <laughs> Peppa, maybe you should look in the mirror. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's my tooth. It's fallen out. Don't worry, Peppa. It's just a milk tooth. They're meant to fall out. Will I grow a new one, Mummy? Yes, you will, Peppa. It also means the Tooth Fairy will be paying you a visit. Tooth Fairy? Yes, the Tooth Fairy. If you put the tooth under your pillow tonight, the Tooth Fairy will come. The Tooth Fairy will take the tooth, and in its place, she will leave a shiny coin. When I grow up, I want to be a Tooth Fairy. Oh, <laughs> and what would you like to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur. <laughs> a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, George, it's bedtime. We don't want to miss the tooth fairy. Before going to bed, Peppa and George brush their teeth. Peppa, what are you doing? I'm brushing my tooth, so it's nice and clean for the tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa cannot wait to get into bed. Peppa is putting her tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy. Good night, Peppa and George. <laughs> Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George, I'm not going to sleep. Let's go. 
let's stay awake all night and see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> Is very late. Oh. The tooth fairy is taking a long time to arrive. Where is that tooth fairy? What is that noise? Is it the tooth fairy? George, can you hear something? Oh, George. Oh, the noise is George. He was so tired he has fallen asleep. George is not very good at staying awake, but I am. I'm going to stay awake and see the Tooth Fairy. I'm not going to sleep. The Tooth Fairy has arrived. But Peppa is asleep. Hello, Peppa. Would you like this coin in return for your tooth? What a nice clean tooth. Thank you, Peppa. Good night. Peppa, George, wake up. It's morning. What? I wasn't asleep. Did the tooth fairy come? No. Let's take a look under your pillow. Oh, look, Peppa. The Tooth Fairy has been and she's left you a coin. Hooray! <laughs> you fell asleep, didn't you? Well, maybe I fell asleep just for a little bit. <coughs> Next time, I will stay awake and I will see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are making a treasure hunt for Peppa and George. Granny Pig is drawing the treasure map. Grandpa Pig is burying the treasure in a secret place in the garden. Grandpa Pig, have you finished? Peppa and George will be here soon. <laughs> no need to panic, Granny Pig. Peppa and her family are here. Quick! Grandpa Pig, they're here. Oh, almost done. <laughs> oh. Grandpa Pig oh. just finished in time. Granny Pig, we're here. Granny Pig. Hello, my little ones. Grandpa Pig. Papa Pig. Ahoy there, me hearties. Peppa, George, we've made you a treasure hunt. Somewhere in the garden is buried treasure. Wow, treasure. Where is it? Oh, you have to look for it. Here's a treasure map for Peppa. And George could wear my pirate hat. Ahoy there, Captain George. <laughs> the map is a bit difficult. Daddy, can you help? Of course, Peppa. I'm very good with maps. Uh, it is a bit difficult. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're holding the map upside down. Yes, I thought as much. It's easy. The Red Cross shows where the treasure is. But where in the garden are those two apple trees? Hmm, I don't know. Would you like a clue? Yes, please. <laughs> the first clue is in a bottle. <laughs> But where is the bottle? I can see it! <laughs> Pepper has found the first clue. A message in a bottle. Look everyone! Here's the bottle! Well done, Pepper. Let's see what the message says. Oh, it's a message from a pirate. Mummy, can you read the pirate's message? Hmm. This pirate has very bad handwriting. The pirate's handwriting is excellent. No, I can't make it out at all. The pirate is clearly written. Follow the arrows. Follow the arrows? <coughs> George, George has found a second clue. 
sticks in the shape of an arrow. Look, they point this way. <laughs> Peppa and George are following the arrows. <laughs> Go, George, a key. Peppa has found the next clue, a key. Well done, Peppa. <gasps> now you just have to find the treasure chest that it unlocks. But there aren't any more clues. Maybe you should take another look at the map. Look, Peppa, the map has two apple trees on it. Here's, here's an apple tree. And here's an apple tree. So the treasure must be here. Let's take a look. Oh dear, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Hang on, there is something here. Wow, treasure! Hooray! Well done, well done. <laughs> I've got the key to open it. Wow, I can't believe it. Gold coins! They must be worth a fortune. It's better than that. They're not gold coins. They are chocolate coins. And there's a chocolate coin for everybody. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and George love chocolate coins. Everyone loves chocolate coins. Granny, Grandpa, this is the best treasure hunt ever. <laughs> the museum. Pepper and her family are going to the museum. <laughs> Daddy, what is a museum? It's a place full of interesting things that are very old. Older than you? Yes, even older than me. Oh, really old. <laughs> <laughs> There's one room full of things that belong to kings and queens from long ago. <gasps> I want to see the king and queen's room. And there's another room with a real dinosaur. Wow! Dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. Pig? Hello, Miss Rabbit. How many tickets, tickets, please? Tickets, please. Two adults and two children. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a dinosaur. <laughs> 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 Peppa wants to see the room full of things that belonged to kings and queens from long ago. Wow! Dinosaur? But George wants to see the real dinosaur. <laughs> Don't worry, George. We will see the dinosaur next. <coughs> Peppa, these are all the things that the Queen had a long time ago. This is the Queen's special chair. It's called a throne. It's beautiful. This is the Queen's dress. It's so pretty. Look, Peppa, this is the Queen's golden crown. Wow! What lovely things! Mummy, where is the Queen's television? They didn't have television then. <gasps> no television? But they did have computers. No. Yes. No, they didn't have computers either. What did they do all day? <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, if I was the queen, I would eat as much cake as I wanted. Peppa imagines being a queen. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> delicious. Is there anything else you would care for, Queen Peppa? Yes, more cake, please. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Coming, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, I'm Queen Peppa. You must bow when you speak to me. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry, Your Royal Highness. And what do you do? I'm your Daddy. Hmm, that must be very interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. And what room is this? This is the dinosaur room. The dinosaur room? George, this is the dinosaur room. <laughs> dinosaur! Where is the 
dinosaur. He's somewhere in the room. I can't see him. He must be very small. Actually, Peppa, he's very big. <gasps> wow. These are the bones of a real dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> George imagines being a big dinosaur. The dinosaur room is George's favorite room. <laughs> My favorite room is the king and queen's room. And it looks as if Daddy Pig is already in his favorite room. Which room is that, Mummy? The room with the cakes in. Daddy Pig's favorite room is the museum cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tuck in. Oh, yes. This is a very nice room. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her family are going out for the day. Peppa, George, today we're going to Windy Castle. What's Windy Castle, Daddy? It's a castle on a very high hill. George likes castles. Windy Castle sounds like a boring thing for boys. No, Peppa, you'll love it. There's a great view from the top of Windy Castle. You can even see Granny and Grandpa's house. Wow! Let's go! <laughs> I'll map read and Mummy Pig will drive. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? When you map read, we always get lost and you get grumpy. We will not get lost and I will not get grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Windy Castle, here we come. Are we nearly there yet? Not quite. Oh. Would you like to play a game? Yes, please. Let's play I Spy. Okay, I'll go first. Daddy Pig has to secretly look at something, and the others have to guess what it is. I spy with my little eye something coloured red. Red? My dress. That's red. No, it's not your dress. Hmm. The car. That's right. Our red car. <laughs> Bye, go. I spy with my little eye something blue. Hmm. George's blue shirt. Nope. Is it something in the car? No. Give up. Yes. The sky. The blue sky. I win. <laughs> Daddy Pig, do you know where we are? I know exactly where we are. Although, this road doesn't look the same as it does on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig, we're lost. We are not lost. So how do we get to Windy Castle from here? Just give me a moment. Mm. I know, we can ring Granny and Grandpa. There's no need to ring Granny and Grandpa. I'll get us to Windy Castle if it takes me all day. We haven't got all day. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Grandpa Pig, we've got a bit lost on the way to Windy Castle. No, <laughs> is Daddy Pig doing the map reading? Yes, Daddy Pig is doing the map reading, and he's a bit grumpy at the moment. I am not grumpy. <laughs> this is the best route. Uh, keep on the main road until you see Windy Castle up ahead. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. We follow the main road and look out for Windy Castle. As I thought. <laughs> <laughs> look, is that a castle? Yes, it's Windy Castle. Come on, car. Come on, car, you can make it. Hooray! Hooray! Pepper and her family have arrived at Windy Castle. Wow, it's so tall. Let's go inside. The view from the top is fantastic. <laughs> wow. Look at the view. Mummy, is that Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, it is. It's so far away. 
Let's take a look through the telescope. Can I look first, please? Yes, but you must let George look next. Wow! The telescope makes everything look bigger. I can see Granny and Grandpa. Look, George. Thank you, Ig. Papa Ig. George is waving at Granny and Grandpa. Silly George. <gasps> Granny and Grandpa are too far away to see you waving. I know. We can ring them. Hello? Grandpa Pig, we can see you from Windy Castle. Wave at us. Granny and Grandpa are waving at us. <laughs> I love Windy Castle. <laughs> Secrets. Mummy Pig has made a special box for Peppa. Peppa, this box is just for you. Thank you, Mummy. It's a secret box for you to keep secret things in. What things can I put in it, Mummy? <laughs> Only you can decide that, Peppa. It's your secret box. I know what I can put in it. Good, but don't tell me. I won't tell you or George or Daddy. It's a secret. George, this is my secret box. It's empty. I have to find some things to put inside. <laughs> George wants to help Peppa. No, George. Only I must know what's in the box. You have to wait outside while I choose. <laughs> Peppa is going to choose some secret things to put in the box. <laughs> now my secret box is full. George, you must not look inside. George would like to know what is inside Peppa's secret box. If you like, you can try to guess. <coughs> dinosaur! George thinks Peppa has put a dinosaur in the box. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. Anyway, a dinosaur is too big to fit in the box. George cannot guess what is in Peppa's secret box. Daddy Pig is cleaning a picture. Daddy, this is my secret box. Mummy made it for me. It's very nice, Peppa. What's inside? It's a secret. George tried to guess, but he didn't get it right. Can I have a try? Yes. Hmm. Have you put my glasses inside? No! <laughs> your glasses are on your head. So they are. Silly Daddy, you must have a proper guess. OK. Have you put Mummy's shoes in the box? Nope. And that's all your guesses used up. Peppa likes secrets. Bobby, no one knows what's in my box. Oh, what has George got? I made a box for George, too, and he's filled it with secret things. And only George knows what's inside. Oh. Peppa would like to know what is inside George's box. It's George's toy dinosaur, of course. No. George's toy dinosaur is not in George's box. <laughs> it's too difficult. I'll never guess. Peppa does not like secrets as much as she used to. Maybe if you showed George one thing from your box, then he could show you one thing from his. OK, but we must do it at the same time. That's a good idea. On the count of three, you each show what's in your boxes. Ready? Yes. One, two, three. George has a drum <laughs> and Pepper has a trumpet. <laughs> Nice. Do you have any more secret things? <laughs> George has a custard donut. Oh. But Peppa's box is empty. I've got nothing else. Luckily, I have. Come on, tuck in. George, Peppa, Mummy Pig, and Daddy Pig all like custard donuts. I don't have a special box, but I know a very good place to hide my custard donut. Can you guess where? Hmm. 
Are you going to hide it in the fridge? No. Somewhere much more special. My tummy. Mm, delicious. <laughs> I'm going to hide mine in my tummy. Me too. <laughs> The sun is shining. It is a very hot day. What a lovely hot day. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their boots. They are going to jump in muddy puddles. I love muddy puddles. Oh. Oh dear. The sun is so hot that the puddles have dried up. Mummy, Daddy, the puddles are all dry and we can't jump in them. Never mind, Pepper. It's so sunny, you can play in the paddling pool instead. Yes, the paddling pool! <laughs> First, you have to change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Mummy! <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their swimming costumes. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. And Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Because it's so hot, you need sun cream. <laughs> So oily and yucky. Yuck. Oh, what a fuss about nothing. Yes, we all need sun cream today. Oh. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Let's get some air into this paddling pool. Daddy Pig is pumping up the paddling pool. <laughs> Easy as pie. <laughs> Pepper holds the hose. And Mummy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? George loves their paddling pool. <laughs> ice cream! Ice cream! Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady! <laughs> ice cream! On very hot days, Miss Rabbit sells ice cream. Mummy, Daddy! Can George and I have an ice cream, please? Oh, well, I suppose it is an especially hot day. Hooray! <laughs> please, can I have one as well? Everyone likes ice cream. Hello, Mum. Hello, Mummy Pig, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. What ice creams would you like? Can I have a cone, please, Miss Rabbit? Of course you may, Pepper. Thank you. The same for me and one for Daddy Pig, please. And what would young Mr George like? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? Silly George. He always says dinosaur for everything. Well... It just so happens that I do have a dinosaur-shaped ice lolly. <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. George, you should eat your ice lolly before it melts. Dinosaur. George loves his dinosaur ice lolly so much he doesn't want to eat it. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Enjoy the weather. <laughs> George, I really think you should eat your ice lolly before it melts and falls on the ground. Oh dear, George's dinosaur ice lolly has melted and fallen on the ground. Never mind, George. You can share Daddy's ice cream. I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> it is so... It is so warm, Daddy Pig has fallen asleep. Daddy Pig does look hot. Let's dip water on Daddy to cool him down. Good idea, Pepper. Whoa! What happened? You were all red and hot, Daddy Pig. So we took water on you. Oh, I see. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the puddles are back. Quick, George, let's get our boots. <laughs> Peppa and George are wearing their boots. Peppa and George love the hot day, but most of all, they love jumping up and down in puddles. Shopping! 
Peppa and George are going shopping. <laughs> Peppa and George like shopping. George loves sitting in the trolley. So does Peppa. Daddy, can I sit in the trolley too? <laughs> You're too big for the trolley, Peppa. Oh? But you can help with the shopping. Oh, goody! We've got four things on the list. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions and fruit. I'll find it all. <laughs> this way. Peppa and George love shopping. <laughs> Peppa, first we need tomatoes. Hmm. I can see them, I can see them. Here are the tomatoes, Mummy. Well done, Pepper. One, two, three, four. Now, put them in the trolley. I found the tomatoes. Well done, Pepper. Tomatoes. That's one thing off the list. What's next on the list? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. That's right, George, but it's called spaghetti. Spaghetti. Spaghetti is Pepper and George's favourite food. I wonder where the spaghetti is. I can see it. This way. Spaghetti. Look, Mummy, here's the spaghetti. Well done, Pepper. Let's put the spaghetti in the trolley. Yes, Mummy. Spaghetti. <laughs> George, it's called spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> What's next on the list, Pepper? Crisps. Crisps are not on the list. We have plenty of crisps at home, Pepper. Have another guess. Hmm. I just can't remember. Can you remember, George? Dinosaur. Dinosaur? George. There aren't any dinosaurs in the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> no, George. The next thing on the list is onions. Onions. I remember now. Here they are. <laughs> well done. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Onions. Very good. That's nearly everything on our list. There's one last thing on the list. <laughs> A plant? Is that on the list? Oh, no, George. The last thing on the list is fruit. Oh. Never mind, George. You can choose the fruit. <laughs> Where is the fruit? Over there. <laughs> there are apples and oranges and bananas and a very big melon. What fruit shall we have, George? Apples? Oranges? Bananas? <laughs> a melon! <laughs> <laughs> this is the checkout where all the food is paid for. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions, melon, chocolate cake. Chocolate cake? Chocolate cake? Is that on the list? Pepper, did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No, Mummy. George? Did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No. Well, I didn't put it in. Then who did? Um, I thought it might be nice for pudding. Daddy Pig. <laughs> Naughty Daddy. Sorry, it just looked so delicious. It does look rather yummy. Oh, let's pretend it was on the list. Chocolate cake! <laughs> Daddy's movie camera. Mr. Zebra, the postman, is delivering a parcel to Peppa's house. Parcel for you, Mr. Pig. Thank you, Mr. Zebra. Goodbye. Look. I just got a parcel in the post. Can anyone guess what's inside? Dinosaur! Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. <laughs> the parcel is far too small to have a dinosaur inside. Hmm, I think it's a 
a new toy. You're very close. I know what it is. Your new camera. A new toy for Daddy Pig. That's right. It's a movie camera. We can make movies with it and watch them on our television. Could I use it first, Daddy? <laughs> it's a bit too difficult for children to use. Even I need to read the instructions. It's a bit harder than I thought. Susie Sheep's mummy has a movie camera. She switches it on like this. Oh, well done, Peppa. Thank you for purchasing the movie 3000. I am eager and ready to shoot your first movie. Is there a way to turn that voice off? I'm not sure. Thank you for purchasing the movie 3000. On Susie's camera, you just press this button to stop it talking. Thank you for purchasing. Now it won't talk anymore. Well done, Peppa. What shall I film first? Film me! <laughs> okay, Peppa. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> again, again. Okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> again, again. <laughs> Maybe we should film something new. I know. Daddy Pig must leave the room and we'll make a movie to show him. This way! Daddy Pig has to wait in the kitchen while Mummy Pig, Peppa and George make a secret movie. <laughs> no peeking, Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> we all have to do something. George, do you want to go first? <laughs> Are you ready? Can I come in and see the movie? Finished! You can come in now. George has made a movie and so has Pepper. Let's see George's movie first. <coughs> dinosaur! Grrr. George is pretending to be a dinosaur. Grrr. That's a very scary dinosaur. <coughs> oh dear, George is frightened. Don't be frightened, George. That's not a real dinosaur on TV. It's you. Dinosaur. <laughs> now, let's see Peppa's movie. Ho, ho, ho. Who is that meant to be? I am Daddy Pig. Ho, ho, ho. I see. My tummy is very big because I eat a lot of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy is not big. But it is true that I like cookies. And the more you eat, the bigger your tummy gets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's next? This is my sweet little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig. This is me. <laughs> and this is the real Daddy Pig. <laughs> School play. Peppa's playgroup are going to put on a play. The Little Red Riding Hood. Hooray! All the children have parts in the play. They have to practice at home. <laughs> Peppa is going to be Little Red Riding Hood. Mummy Pig has made her costume. Daddy Pig is helping Peppa practice. Okay, Peppa. What do you say? I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Very good. Then what? Um... I'm going to visit my grandma. I'm going to visit my grandma. Bravo, Peppa! Danny... Danny Dog is going to play the big bad wolf. <coughs> Grandad Dog and Mummy Dog are helping him practice. I'm the big bad wolf. <laughs> Try not to laugh, Danny. You should be a bit scarier. Try it like this, Danny. <clears throat> I'm the big bad wolf. I'm going to eat you all up. <laughs> you see? 
Yes, that was really scary. <laughs> Pedro Pony is going to play the hunter. He will rescue Pepper from the big bad wolf. Um, I'm the hunter, and... Pedro is a bit shy. Nay, you say, I'm going to chase you away, you big bad wolf. Um, go away, naughty wolf. <laughs> Very good, Pedro. Rebecca Rabbit is going to be the grandma. What do I say, Mummy? Let's see. At the start of the play, you get locked in a cupboard by the big bad wolf. Then right at the end of the play, you are rescued by the hunter. And you say, thank you. <coughs> thank you. Very good, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has come to see the school play. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our play, The Little Red Riding Hood. First, let us meet the actors. <laughs> please, please, for the sake of the actors, no photography, please. And now, our play begins. Grandma is at home. But who is this visitor? On the big bad wolf. Well done, Danny! Um... Oh dear, Danny has forgotten what he says next. Grandma, you must go in the cupboard. Go in the cupboard. The big bad wolf is pretending to be Grandma. Ooh. I am Little Red Riding Hood. I'm going to visit my Grandma. Bravo, Pepper. Daddy, you must not take photos. Oops, sorry, Pepper. Carry on. <clears throat> I'm going to visit my Grandma. <laughs> oh, you don't look like my Grandma. <laughs> What big eyes you have! <laughs> what big teeth you have! <gasps> you are not Grandma! You are the big bad wolf! Ooh. Help! Oh, help! <gasps> but look who is here! Just in time! Pedro the Hunter! Help! Oh, help! Just in time! Pedro the Hunter! Pedro is a bit shy. Pedro, would you like me to come on with you? Yes, please. You are a very naughty wolf. <laughs> I saved you, Grandma. <clears throat> Thank you. Bravo! Bravo! Pedro, you are very good. <laughs> you are almost as good as me. <laughs> <laughs>